I'm Ward Cunningham, and I'm here at DorkBot PDX. And what I did is I brought a device called a C-coder. And a C-coder is a mechanical dial post, dial, dial pulse decoder. The pulses that normally come out of a telephone dial. This is how we used to have to make phone calls. Uh, go into this decoder, which recognizes one telephone number. Now, this is me when I was in college, and I had this very dial that says Rick and Ward on it. It was mounted on my dorm room door, and any of my friends who knew the code could let themselves in. Now, if we look at this thing, there's a dial here. Or, uh, there's a, there's a ro this is like a stepping, a stepping uh, relay, and each click causes it to advance, and if I dial the right number, it comes around and latches. That little that little thing there catches the mechanism. Now this is the one that has the contact. One more number, and that'll advance around, and there. The light comes on. In my case, that would run a motor. Here's what the motor looked like. It was, uh, this was my roommate at the time, and we had uh, a uh, pliers on the knob on the door, the lock, and we had a little string going to a motor, and the motor was turned on by the power. And when we turned it off, any wrong number, and it resets, so then the weight of the pliers would uh, unwind the uh, string. Kind of Rube Goldberg, I know, but we thought it worked pretty well, and the tape held it all to the door, and it never fell off. So this is uh, this this package of information. I called, we called this thing Dialador, and this is called Dialador Remembered. This is my restoration, both of the hardware and photographs. And you can find this under Dialador uh, at c2.com tilde ward slash Dialador. I'm sure that Google will help you find it soon. The other thing is the device is called a C-coder, S-E-C-O-D-E-R. So uh, Google for C-coder. They're hard to find on the net, but now with my work here, C-coder will be a word that's well known on the internet.